Hello guys, and today I will teach you how to make a knife out of a metal pin. First, it doesn't have to be a metal pin. It can be any pin, but it should be a metal pin. It should be. <laughs> so, what you're gonna have to do is that you're gonna have to have a pin. One of these thousand pins that my family has. And, um, and a, one of these. This came from an orange looking pin like this that I took apart and cut this part in half because I wasn't going to make a ballistic knife that ended up failing because I put too much hot glue. Hot glue comes out easily, as most of y'all should know. The spring doesn't have much boing in it. <laughs> and I got this glued into this, so that failed. It would have been, and what I was going to do is glue this like and have to twist this on as a three part ballistic knife. Put this in there. Hold it like this and push hard and let go like that. It still kinda shoots, but not really. So it's a bit of a fail. So I, I keep all these parts just in case somehow I find something from some use. Got rubber bands and everything. For this build, what you're gonna need is two pins. Now this build may cost up to a dollar. And now is the time of stuff. I did have a substance creed knife and a paintbrush and all that stuff, but I don't know where it's at. And I don't feel like getting the paintbrush. I got a blow dart gun. That's gonna be next episode, but all you need is a short thing with jig and a case you know that. So it's not really going to be an episode, I don't think. So, what you're going to need is a pin, like this. What you're going to do is you want to cut it down to, like, maybe a half an inch. Maybe an inch or two. Mine is about two inches. Mine is, like, maybe two and a half inches, but I cut this one, sadly, a little bit shorter. That does not matter. Actually, all you really need is actually what fits your hand, but you actually do want it to be small for the knife part to be big. Er. So, yeah. And you may need a hot glue gun. So, that, I don't know how much that costs. About $5. <laughs> I'm not one of those fancy people that says, you, let me need this. How much is this going to cost? I'm not one of those people. So, you need a... Pin part. Pin part is what I like to call one of the parts with the ink in it and stuff. The shoot that got the ink in it. You write in. To be honest, this is also a pin. Like, I use it as a pin. You can use something like this. You can put it on inside out, upside down, anything you want to to get this fit in like this. Like, Fits in like this, and the blade and everything's like the holder is up here. Because if the holder is down here, the whole knife will shoot out, it will fall out. I suggest getting one of these to one of the bigger ones, and the regular ones are usually a bit smaller, as you can see. So now. What we're gonna do now is teach you how to put it in. Now, what you're gonna do is like you may need this or any pin at all, and make it into something like this. You you need one of those, at least one of those regular pins with those in it. That's what I suggest. Horseshoe pin, I don't care as long as it looks like this, but it doesn't have to be white. Mine is black and I'm not racist. It's like, I just thought it would look cool. Now, as you see, this does not, like, stick in there. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, now, enough of them. Like, seriously, uh, this actually um, looks like it's not going to fit. That's what the hot glue gun's for. If I don't run like that, or so. 
put about like that in. You measure it on and put the mark right about on here. I modified some of my pins to be like this. And as you see, that's the mark I made. Type it in. After I put in the hot glue. What you're going to do for the hot glue is that you want to fill it up a little bit and then like get around the edges. Like on the inside. About right about here. You want to stick it all the way in and hold it for about one second. One. Like that. I'm not trying to be nerdy or anything, but that's how you do it. And then like, and then you get the edges right about here just a bit if it's not already covered. And there's a bit of a string, but block it off, you know. And then... And immediately put this in where the mark shows in. Like that. The mark is about right about there. So I just there. Hold it here for a bit. After it dries a little bit to make sure it stays in, you want to get around these edges. Not too much at all. Or else it will look not cool. And you won't be able to have a casing. A casing is what I'll call a case of the, of the thing. And what you're going to need is any type of pin that fits at all of your liking. I suggest using the ones that like curve in like, like that, like as an arrow, because then it fits into it, like in the thing. And sometimes these are too big. And it means you probably won't either have a casing or choose a bigger of one of your options. And you probably won't be able to use the pointy ones. You're probably going to have to use something like this. But it's also really good. Because you can uh, string it or something. And put it like that. How I sharpen it. I use... A file, or a, not a brick, but one of those things that you put in your, uh, like your athlete jacket with a star on it. I forgot what it's called. You put a, like a workout jacket that you jog in to build muscle. Uh, you put, you take one of those out and you try to sharpen it, or just get a regular knife or sword sharper, and just go like this for a while, for about at least a couple seconds, maybe about seven seconds. Start moving it. And as you see, I have used it a lot. A lot. Now for the test. This will not be as good. That's why I'm going to be using this to show you a metal one. Um, the metal one's skinnier and stuff. But the metal one also has this like fat thing at the end of it that actually fit into it. So uh, to make sure it stayed, I put hot glue in it. And you may be able to see how good it is. And there's not hardly glue coming up. And it's and I got it perfect around the edges and everything. This thing's not coming on done. I'm using all my strength and I am very strong and not well, very, very strong, but I don't look like it, but I'm pretty strong. And yeah. You're done. I know this pie is long and pie like this um no comments about what I just said there. A long video and stuff like that. Uh, we'll make it up to you next time when I show you all the things I've created. And so, yeah. And every time, if you if you got one of these with the wires on it, step one never get close to anything electrical and anything electrical connecting to this, connect to another thing. It will run straight through, and it will scare the crap out of you if you don't know what you're doing. And just do this around the tip, around or sometimes the whole edges. And after you do that, you should scrape some parts off of it. So what you want to do is brush it to make it look clean and good. And do not add water in here or anything uh, uh, without damaging it, of course, because you will damage it. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Hope you all have a nice time. And actually, I want to show you how deadly a metal one is. Pants falling down, so don't accuse me of anything. Now watch. Didn't even do anything. Now, full, uh, 
Now, if I put force in it, this is what it's going to be. All the way in. All the way through a box. And this is a thick box. Like, not one of those big ones, like a three thick box. It's deadly. Very, very deadly. I had a, uh, I, I threw this at a tree. Like a bow shuriken. Like, that. Well, it's kind of hard to explain right now because I'm not doing a bow shuriken video. And it's stuck in about like that into a tree. So I did it as hard as I can. But you don't, if you want, if you know bow shurikens, you don't want to do it as hard as you can. You just want to let it slide out. But I was on a tight hop. High top, high top, and the gravity and stuff kind of forced it also, and it went straight down, possibly like this, and it stuck straight in, and was like, and was like, shook a little bit, and stopped. So this thing's really deadly, and the good thing is, if you're one of those kids, they're like, oh my god, I can't open this box. I'm tired of my family open it for you. This is what you need. Or if you just want to stab people. But I am not I or anything of do to me um, is anything value to this. Like, I am not responsible for your actions at all. And if you get in trouble, you did it. You did it. So, that is how you do it. And um, I suggest use a metal pen. Which is probably a waste of your time. But if you just want to fool around and have just a nice, like, play blade or whatever to show your friends and stuff, say, hey, look what I built, then yeah. But if you want to get down to this business and stuff, you might want to use a metal one. And this does not slide except on the tip a little bit. And this is deadly if you want to get ink inside people. I'm just showing you how to, you know, I'm not telling you to do it. So don't do it. And yeah. And you don't want to have one of those, like, things like this on it or anything. Because it will look stupid. I tried to do it. I had it perfectly sealed like this, a hole through it and everything. I just didn't like it. I mean, my case didn't go on it or anything. Unless I took it off and I put it as an accessory. But I don't do that. And you also want to wash your case if it's metal. Make sure it does not work. Rust. Clean it almost every day. At least... Maybe once every two days or three. I do it once every two days to make sure it's clean and I sharpen it. And to make sure it's sharp, I kind of the tip a little bit. Sometimes you might want to get a hammer and just go like do, 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 very, very, very softly. And to wash it after you kill someone. I mean, um, dip it in water. You might want to use foam. And. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or if you use a file, you can use the part of a file. Swipe part. Use it as that. But I don't really use it. Because I got a green thick one, not like that. Like a uh, little round thing. Oh, that's a fun thing. And I use that. That's how to build a. Yeah. A knife. I don't have a pen. Thank you and goodbye. Hope you liked this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. If you want more, um, be the first to check out these videos by, well, subscribing. Thank you and good night.